Alright guys, in this video, we are going to create a logo light sweep animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. And technically, you can create this animation inside the edit page as well. So let's bring in our logo. I'm going to use a DaVinci Resolve logo here and uh, let's scale that down. And I can go to generators and apply the or add the solid color effect, put it on a new track. And I can go to generator over here in the inspector and change the color and make it white. And then we can go to settings and change the cropping. So I'm going to set the crop left in the middle and I'm going to set the value to 940 and do the same thing with crop right as well. Set that to 940. Then we can increase the softness a little bit and then we can also rotate this. So I'm going to set this to negative 45. And then we can just scroll down till you see composite and I'm going to change the composite mode to overlay. So you can see we have this um, light sweep going on. So now we can simply animate this. Make sure your playhead is at the very first frame and just click on this little transform icon. So right now it's turned on. If I click it again, it's turned off. Just make sure it's turned on. Click on that and you should see this uh, on screen widget thing which you can you know move around so i'm going to just change the position but before that let's create a keyframe on transform so you can see that under position x y we can just click on this diamond icon to activate our keyframe now i can just change the position and put it in the top left corner let's go to the end of our clip and change the position and bring it in the bottom right corner so now if you play the video this is how it is going to look we can see that we have this nice light sweep animation going on. But the problem with this is it works best if you have a black background. Now, if I just move this to a new track and import any kind of background, then you can see that the overlay, you know, it spills out of this logo. It doesn't work perfect when you have a background. All right. So now let's take a look at how to create this animation inside the fusion page. So let's go to effects and apply the fusion composition, drag it onto the timeline. And let's go to the Fusion tab where we will create our animation. Now let's go to the Media Pool and drag in our logo inside. And let's close out of this. Let's take a look at the logo. Now what we can do is on this Media In, we are going to hit Shift Spacebar. And from the Select tool, I'm going to search for Glow and click on Add. Let's take a look at this Glow node over here. And what I'm going to do is on the Glow size, I'm just going to reduce that to zero. And if I turn off the glow, this is before and this is after. So on this glow node, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rectangle mask to this. And I'm going to change the width and the height of this. So let's do it something like this. And I'm going to increase the soft edge as well. And on the angle, I can set this to negative 45. And again, we can, you know, keyframe this. Just make sure you... Under center X, Y, you activate the keyframe and then you can change the position, put it in the top left corner, then go to the end of your animation or the video and change the position, bring it in the bottom right corner. So if you take a look at this, we have similar kind of animation as we had in the previous example, but there is another problem. If I just drag in a background to this and just merge it up with this glow and connect it with the media out all right let's make sure our logo is in the foreground so on this merge right click and click on swap inputs all right so you can notice that we have this artifacts going on in our logo and uh, that's not what we want right we want to have a clean looking light sweep animation so uh, what we can do is let's go into our glow and we are going to change the apply mode and we're going to change it to threshold and now you can notice that we have this glow going on, but it's really subtle. You're not able to see it properly, but we can just simply increase the glow amount like so. And we can change the glow size as well. And you can just play around with these settings till you get the desired result. So now if you play your animation, you'll see that you have this nice light sweep animation going on. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can create this light sweep effect in the Fusion page. Now you can get rid of this background. You don't want that here. And you can connect the glow up with this media out. Um, let's do one more thing. Let's add in a 
background node after this close. I'm going to select this glow node and uh, click on this very first icon that says background. And this will add a merge node as well. So let's right click on the merge and click on swap inputs. Now it should be 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go back to my background node over here and reduce the alpha all the way down to zero so that we have a transparent animation. Cool. Now we can do is we can replace it with a text as well. So let's just disconnect this and add a text plus node and connect it up with the glow. Let's type in our text. I'm going to type in light sweep. And you can see that it works pretty much the same. Now we can, you know, go ahead in the rectangle and just adjust the width and the soft edge just uh, play around with the settings and you can go inside the glow and you can turn it down a little and you can play around with the glow size yeah there you go you have the same kind of effect on a uh, text as well now if you go back to edit page you can see that we have this animation over here and if you move on to a new track and bring in any background it should work perfectly fine without any artifacts or uh, glitches. That's how you can create a light sweep effect inside DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. If this video is helpful, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.